Memphis Police's Scorpion Unit may have been unknown to most Memphians, but those who say they had encounters with the special unit knew plenty about their tactics. All I hear is, uh, freeze, get out the car. Put your, put your MF hands up before I blow your heads off. Both of you, get out the car. So put your hands up. So I put my hands up, and one of the officers proceeded to come to the car, and uh, he physically pulled me out by my shoulder with a gun no more than a foot away from my head. Cornell McKinney says he could get no response to his complaints to police internal affairs over how he was stopped without reason. His story is now getting national attention after the dramatic video of Scorpion officers seeming to do the same thing to Tyree Nichols and going even further. McKinney tells me he has signed on with Ben Crump's law firm. And on CBS This Morning, Crump said there is more to come in this case. We're going to have a press conference tomorrow with another citizen who said he was just going to get a pizza about three or four days before this happened to Tyree Nichols and that they attacked him, threw him on the ground, put a gun to his head, and he reported it uh, the next day, called twice, and they never responded. And the belief Gail and Tony and Blad is if they would have just responded, then maybe, just maybe, Tyree Nichols would not have been killed three days later. The same thing Cornell McKinney told me last week. I was like, that's them. I said, that's crazy, that's them. I said, now they don't really hurt somebody. This could have been prevented if the Eternal Affairs took action like I was asking them to do. Following up on complaints is one of several issues yet to be investigated. Memphis City Council member Patrice Robinson says after getting the first presentation by the Memphis Police Department introducing the Scorpion Unit in 2021, she is not aware of many updates on their successes or any problems, something she says needs to change. We're going to have to have some professional support so that we can get the information that we need so we know what to ask for and when we get reports, we know that what was in that report was relevant to the community. Uh, the community is asking for data transparency, and I believe that they are correct in asking for that, especially where we are today. April Thompson, WREG News Channel 3. Over the weekend, MPD announced it is disbanding the Scorpion unit. We have asked for a copy of all complaints made against that Scorpion unit and the outcome of those complaints. Of course, we'll keep you updated as we learn more.